Welcome to Exploring a D-Rob. Let's go. Good morning. Welcome back. Been a while since we've done some short hikes up in the gorge, so thought we'd try to hit a few of those this morning. Uh, starting out today, out here at the Oxier Ridge Trailhead, Monday morning. I'm the only person here. If you ever wondered why people like to hike in the wintertime, that's why less people. Anyway, getting ready to head out the gravel road section of the Double Arch Trail. Going to go out here and check out Arch of Triumph. At roughly 800 feet out the road, you will see the first ridge head out to the right. You'll see a user trail cutting up here. You'll take that. I'm going to head out this ridge. We'll pass through a few campsites. And out towards the end of the ridge is where we'll find the Arch of Triumph. Just a short distance into the trail. You'll come to the first campsite. Pretty well established campsite. A few logs around. A little fire pit there. As you can probably make out, there's a pretty decent little user trail follows out this ridge. Coming up on another little opening here. Looks like it's been used as a campsite. As you come down past that second little campsite there, you'll start to see uh, some exposed rock out here. And as you come out here, this is the top of the arch. You'll work, you will want to work your way down to the left right here to get down to where you can see it. As you can see here, this tree was once up on top of the rock and it is just slid off. Makes for a little obstacle getting down here now. But once you get down here, you're right at the arch. This is the Arch of Triumph. Three tenths of a mile from the Oxier Ridge Trailhead parking arch of triumph so an out and back to this arch would be six tenths of a mile you can come through under the arch a little bit of room to stand over here just be careful if you do because about a 20 to 30 foot drop there off the other side but enough room to come over here and check out this side of the arch get a good look at underneath Take a few minutes, check out the Arch of Triumph. Pretty neat little arch. Uh, to get back to Trailhead Parking, just gonna backtrack out the way we came. I think after we leave here, we'll go check out Pioneer Arch and Pioneer Overlook. As you 
come back out Tunnel Ridge Road for Moxie Ridge Trailhead Parking. You want to find Pioneer Parking, It'll be the first parking area on the left as you come back out. Got an empty parking area, that's what we like to see. I'm going to go out here and check out Pioneer Arch and Pioneer Overlook. As you can see here, we got some facilities. And you'll see a well beaten path coming around behind. There's a few well established campsites out through here. So if you come on the weekend, you probably expect to see people camping out through here. After only a few hundred feet into the trail, as you can see inside of the road here. Here you come to the first established campsite. Pretty good sized fire ring there. You can tell this area here gets a lot of traffic. A little further on out, come out to a much bigger campsite. Literally got trees down everywhere. As you can see a large one here, a couple more smaller ones just down the hill from it down. Got somebody here wanting to be Paul Bunyan. Green wood don't burn as well as weathered wood, seasoned wood. So, uh, no need in doing this, folks. Anyway, as you pass through the large campsite, you want to kind of stay to the left. Work your way over through here. Where you can see some clearing. You see a ridge line across the way there. This is the ridge you want to follow up to Pioneer Arch and Overlook. As you start getting out closer to the end of the ridge, you'll see where somebody's had a little campfire here. Trail's gonna go slightly down to the right here. As you can see, there's a decent little user trail out through here to follow. Little Rodo and Mountain Warm. Nothing too crazy or anything. As you start downhill and the woods start to open up a little bit, Start seeing a rock outcrop here. As you walk out towards the overlook, right here we're crossing over top of Pioneer Arch. Little fire ring out here. Pioneer Overlook. As you look straight across here, This rock feature here shows up on social media from time to time. To my knowledge, it's not an arch. It just has the shape. Maybe one day, but probably not in our lifetime, it'll become an arch. If you look down just below that, you'll see 77. The native tunnel will be over here just to the left. 77 comes down, heading towards Martin's Fork there. If you do come out to visit this overlook, be very aware that one step over the edge could result in a serious injury, possibly even death. So just be aware of your surroundings.
from Pioneer Parking out here to the Overlook is 0.35 miles. So on out and back to the Overlook and back to parking would be seven tenths of a mile. Now to get down here and check out the arch, you can go down either side. If you come back this way, head over here to the Mount Laurel, off this side. You can get below the cliff line right here. Go down and check out the arch. Or to get down on this other side. Come back up. You'll see this dead fall here. You cut across it. Get below the cliff line right here. We'll go down on this side because I think we can get down to that lower overlook from this side just stick as close as you can to the cliff line around through here once you get down a few places through there road owes your friend other places it's your enemy work your way on around opens up a little bit and here we find ourselves at pioneer arch not a very photogenic arch but it is an arch as you can see, here's the top that we just walked across a few minutes ago. Pioneer Arch. As I mentioned, there's a lower overlook here. Right out here at the end of this rock outcrop. Not much room for standing and it's kind of obscured there by the pine tree. So I don't think I'm going to bother with wrestling my way down through all the rodeo to get there. If you was to want to check it out though, right here is Pioneer Arch. Just come down the cliff line right here. You can work your way down if you want to make a little jump right here. If not, you can step on over into the road over there. Get on down below this little piece of cliff line. Then you just follow the little finger out there to the end. Another look at Pioneer Arch. If you're tall enough and have the upper strength, upper body strength, you can probably work your way back up right here by pushing yourself up. If not, just want to follow the cliff line down and back around the way we came. We checked out Pioneer Arch from the right side. We're gonna work our way down over here and go check out the left side. I think there also might be a couple small pillars over here just past the arch as well. As you come down, just want to do the same. Follow the cliff line back around here to the arch. Once again, not photogenic, but still an arch. As you come down, here's Pioneer Arch. If you come down below this big rock here, down below the cliff line a little bit lower here, you look up to the right. You got this interesting little pillow over here. Head behind the rodeo. I don't believe this pillar's big enough to be classified as an arch. I think it falls probably just short of the three feet required to be an arch. Still a neat little feature to check out while you're here though. After you check out the arch from that side, just backtrack the way you came down. Come back up through the road on Mountain Laurel here. If you want, check out the overlook again. Going ahead back out of here, backtrack the way we came, back out to Pioneer Parking. Next stop might be to check out the Martin's Fork Overlook. And while we're in the area, may go check out Gray's Arch again. Getting down to the overlook there. I feel like pretty much about anybody can do that. Uh, getting down to the arch, 
takes a little bit more effort but nothing too crazy most people that's into arch hunting's gonna have no problem getting down there too as we come back out tunnel ridge road gonna be looking for the last parking area on the left is going to be Gray's Arch Trailhead. If you're coming in from 715 out Tunnel Ridge Road, Gray's Arch Trailhead is going to be the first parking area on your right. Not positive, I think this is David Rogers Park next to us, so we might get to see David Rogers from The Life of David and Cane Boy from the parking area. We're going to follow Gray's Arch Trail out here until we intersect with Roof Trail. Right at a quarter mile in, meet the trail junction with Roof Trail. For our first item of interest, the Martin's Fork Overlook. I'm gonna make a lift down the rough trail towards Martin Fork. After a couple hundred feet from the trail junction, you'll come down to an opening. You'll see a pretty well established campsite here, as you can tell. There's the trail marker. There's the trail going downhill. Here's a campsite. Definitely not a legal campsite. As you'll see over here on the tree, this is new signage. This has been put up since fall. Then you know no camping within 300 feet of trail or road or parking lot. Anyway, off the side of this campsite, we'll follow this user trail down. This will take us over to Martin's Fork Overlook. Pretty easy getting down through here. There's a few little rocky areas. But as you'll see here, you got some roots and stuff that pretty much act as stairs. Work our way on across through here. Got this little short ridge. As it starts to open up over here, you'll see this is a frequent and frequently trafficked area. People camp out here. Unfortunately, they leave their trash too. It's not the first time I've saw beer cans here. Anyway, got a little campsite here. And if you head over to the left, toward this rock outcrop, this is the Martin's Fork Overlook. Back over here to the left, right up here. You can see the roadside overlook that's just past Gray's Arch Trailhead. Then as you go from left to right, looking down over top of Martin's Fork. From parking to this overlook is just shy of four tenths of a mile. So an out and back just to this overlook alone would be just under eight tenths of a mile. Nice little short hike to a great overlook. This would be a good sunset location. I was hoping for just a little better sky interest today. Got a few shots here to overlook. I uh, mentioned this would be a good spot for sunset. Unfortunately, I'm usually here in the morning, so 
I've never got to see what kind of sunset you can get from here, but it does face west. So I think you can get a, probably get some good shots here and got this nice big dead tree here for uh, foreground interest. Uh, gonna head on back up here now to the rough trail intersection with the Gray's Arch Trail. Gray's Arch is one of my favorite arches in the gorge. It and Stargaps are probably the two I visit most often. So we'll head back up here to the trail junction and head on out and see Gray's Arch. Coming back up on the Gray's Arch Trail uh, junction here. If you're headed back to Trailhead Parking, hang a right, head back out to the trailhead. I'm gonna stick left though, head on out and check out Gray's Arch. The hike out here to Gray's Arch is pretty easy. It's a long, rough trail. Once we get down to where the arch is, just short off, shoot off of rough trail. The only downfall to this hike is on the way in, it's predominantly downhill. So on the way back to parking, you get a lot of elevation gain. As we start getting down close to the arch, you come down, you'll see this little section of railing. This will be a little overlook over towards Gray's Arch. This time of year with no leaves on the trees, you get a real good look at the arch. As the trail makes the turn and starts to work downhill. Come over to some of everybody's favorite stairs. Not so bad on the way in, pretty miserable on the way out. As we're coming down the stairs here, once you get to this little short section of stairs, if you cut back to the left here, as I've mentioned in other videos. Step around here and check out Mid-Step Arch. As you come on down, Rough Trail will make a lift. Head on out towards King's Branch. We won't be heading that way today. And we'll keep straight right here. We'll head on up to Gray's Arch. As you head down towards where you'll hear falling water. Here in the corner of the rock shelter, just before Gray's Arch, almost always at least a drip. If you come after a good rain, there's the small falls. Take a look up to the left. This time of year, no leaves on the trees. Get a good look at Gray's Arch. The life of David and Cane Boy. Caught up with Dave and Cane Boy there for a few minutes. I think they're gonna head on out and check out the veranda and some other stuff in the area. So if he has his video up by the time I post mine, I'll put a link in the description so you can check out his video, The Life of David.
from parking. It's 1.2 miles to Gray's Arch. So if you're doing an out and back to Gray's Arch, put you in at 2.4 miles. On the longer end of a short hike, but still a rather short hike. As you come through underneath the arch, come around to this back side. This is one of my favorite angles of the arch. You get to see all the color and texture in the arch. The sky is making photography a little difficult. As you can see, it's really bright, mostly white. Hard to do much with that, but if I came away with anything that I liked, here's the shots. One last look at Gray's Arch. One of my favorite arches in the gorge. Gonna wrap it up here. Head on back to parking. Just gonna follow back out the way we came. Head down from the arch. Connect back with Rough Trail and head uphill. Back to the Gray's Arch Trailhead. Here's a look down on the rock shelter that you come by as you come up to Gray's Arch. You can see the trail and the little section of fence up through there. And unfortunately, Stairs, the worst part about the way back. Headed back down the home stretch here to the trailhead. I'm gonna wrap up the video here. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's adventure. You got to see uh, a few more short hikes. Everybody always seems like a nice short hike with an interesting feature. Uh, it's kind of hoping for a little better uh, sky interest today. I'm not sure how any of those shots are going to turn out. I feel like the sky was pretty bright. Hopefully I can bring up some color and texture in that. That way it's not just a white sky. But uh, hope you enjoyed today's adventure. If you would, give me that like. If you enjoy my videos, consider subscribing. Try to put one out weekly. Don't always happen, but that's what I aim for. And uh, hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.